Mexico is full of innovators, and today we meet some that you may not know. My question to you is, which of these do you believe a Mexican invented? Get ready to be amazed Wild. by the contributions and inventions mm -hmm. you never knew came from Mexico. I am 80% sure that most of you guessed correctly. Um, but for the record, we're coming in. <laughs> Flaming hot Cheetos. It's not easy being cheesy. This is a Mexico invention, if you will. And it's kind of like a rags to riches story. Yeah, man, really good story. Because it started with a Mexican American who worked at Frito Lay as a janitor. But I want you to know that, that I started with this, but I finished with this. One idea is all you need. Raised in a labor migrant camp in Gausti, California, a community just outside of Los Angeles. Richard Montañez has been able to amass a net worth of 15 million. That's a whole lot All of All tracing back to his hustle while working at a Frito-Lay factory as a middle school dropout. By the end of his time there, he was the vice president of multicultural sales and community promotions for the whole North American division of PepsiCo. For real. Richard Montañez was working at the Frito-Lay factory doing his thing and he noticed something that a lot of us in the States recognized. There's a certain section of America that just really don't know how to season food, right? It's he, different taste buds. He found a gap in the market, man, and he came up with his own recipe to make his regular Cheetos next level, which I really appreciate. <laughs> he actually pitched this idea to the CEO of Frito-Lay at the time, Roger Enico, mm -hmm. and the rest is history. So how many of you guessed that it was flaming hot Cheetos? Raise your hand. Let us know in the comments below. So Mr. Montañez was a Mexican American mm -hmm. and got his just desserts. Just desserts. So now let's talk about some things that are kind of more Mexican. You know, 100% Mexican. Okay, like more Mexican than tacos. More Mexican than burritos. More Mexican than salsa. We're talking about the tortilla machine. <laughs> Mexican thing on our list, okay? How dare you say that the tortilla machine is the most Mexican thing on our list? I mean, are you wrong? No, I ain't wrong, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm right. Without that tortilla machine, without the ample supply of tortillas throughout Mexico, we would never have these inventions, all right? Uh, play a game. I want you guys to think of five things. Tortilla-based dishes, all right? We're gonna do one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, one, two, three. I'm gonna start, all right? All right. Enchiladas. Burrito. Quesadilla. Al hombre. Come on, fam. Flautas. Enchilada. Uh, 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 turkey wrap. Imoladas. Uh, chilequiles. Fajitas. Mexican pizza. Flautas. Uh. <laughs> the tortilla machine is a machine that can mass produce tortillas. It's a complete, like, Mexican staple. Now, this was not an original invention. This was actually invented back in 1904 by another gentleman, but, you know, his design was lacking. Yeah, it created square tortillas. Can't do a whole lot with a square tortilla. It didn't catch on. A few decades later, in the 1940s, Another gentleman came along, his name was Falco Celorillo. Mm -hmm. He upgraded this machine to be yeah, automatic at mass producing tortillas. And mass producing? Round. Come on now, like you round. cannot have a tortilla if it's not round, so. <laughs> like these machines, they can crank out almost like 20 tortillas per minute. Yeah, man. Uh, if you don't know, this is a loud machine. You hear it and you smell it way before mm -hmm. you see it. In Mexico, there are a couple of them in most neighborhoods, and you walk up to them, they offer you a little taste, and mm -hmm. you can have a little hot sauce put on there, a little salsa, they have right there the sample. It's just a, it's an iconic piece of a Mexican neighborhood, and you know that sound like wherever you are. And now everyone can have tortillas all around the world. Mm. Thank you, Mexico. Mexican electrical engineer and inventor, Guillermo Gonzalez Camarina was on assignment, inspecting a television transmitter in Los Lajos, Veracruz. And on his way home from that inspection, he had a fatal car accident right outside the city of Puebla, April 18th, 1965. He was survived by two sons and a wife and a lifetime of inventions. In fact, 
He would create something that would change the entire world as we see it. Guillermo Gonzalez sí, sí, Camarena. Camarena. Okay. Sí, sí, sí. This guy is the father of color television. He created something called the, the chromoscopic chromo. adapter for television apparatus way back in 1938. So what this thing did was transform a black and white TV set into a color TV set. This transformed the world as we saw it. All engines running. Launch commit. Because of Guillermo's chromoscopic adapter, the entire world got to witness in color live transmissions from outer space. Hey, the world was watching, and this gave the entire planet a sense of connectedness and peace. You know, like when you get home and take off your shoes from work and cut on a TV set. I want to thank the sponsors of today's video, BetterHelp, for helping people tune out the noise and better connect to mental health. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist that's trained to listen and give helpful, unbiased advice. Maybe the right therapist for you isn't in your area, or maybe you don't like that face-to-face -face interaction, it makes you uncomfortable. With BetterHelp, you can have your sessions over a phone call, via video chat, via messaging, whatever is comfortable for you. In fact, I was able to connect with the right therapist before I left the States, and it was a transformative experience for me. To help connect you with the right therapist, BetterHelp has access to over 30,000 therapists within their network with a wide range of expertise. All you need to do is fill out a questionnaire so they can align you with the right therapist and connect with them, usually within 48 hours. The next step is to contact that therapist and set up a time that's convenient for you to start your first session. If the first therapist that you connect with doesn't feel like the right fit for you, which is common, you can actually switch therapists at no extra cost. At this point, over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living happy, healthier lives. So why not give your mind the same kind of attention? If you think that you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Check the link in our description or head to BetterHelp, that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P, dot com forward slash the yard bros to get 10 percent off of your first month with that yard bros connection to try it out for yourself charlie it might sound corny but the view is really out of this world another invention that i did not think was mexican the margarita egg incubator blood transfusion modern day anesthesia earthquake resistant foundation electric brakes on a car the number zero the invention of chocolates in ecuador in guatemala they all claim to be the originators of chocolate but that's because it really came from some of the most indigenous communities that we know of today yeah the olmecs used to ferment cacao roast cacao grind it up and add that chocolate to their water and were the first to come up with a chocolate drink and that spread out to all the different type of empires there's history of the mayans using chocolate as a drink for sacred rituals mm -hmm. the same with the aztecs, aztecs as well yep, yep, so yep, there's yep. all through that Mesoamerican period there, but it starts with the Olympics. For the longest time in world history, sex and progeneration was always a hit or miss situation. So families were huge until the invention of this puppy. The modern day birth control pill. Not that birth control pills are modern anymore, which was invented in 1951 by Dr. Luis Ernesto Miramantes, which completely changed the course of family planning. This gave women a lot more power over their own bodies. Gracias, Dr. Miramantes. We're gonna keep it medical. Now, Mexico has contributed tons to the medical field, but one woman really stands out for her research in oncology. Now, this is Dr. Tessie Lopez, who created a whole new branch of medicine and oncology by developing a cancer treatment using catalytic nanomedicine. To take the sting out of moving to Mexico, rest assured that Mexico can take anything that you throw at her. When we moved to Mexico, we were concerned about the cartels, we were concerned about the people. In fact, we were looking forward to hanging out with the people. But we did have some concerns. We were most concerned about the critters in Mexico. Facts. Living in Mexico, you can encounter tarantulas. Definitely going to encounter iguanas. And scorpions. Scorpions. Now, being in Mexico, we've encountered scorpions on about four or five different occasions. But fortunately, Mexico is prepared because of an inventor called Daniel Vergada Lopez. Lopez. This guy invented a scorpion anti-venom back in 1906 mm -hmm. to take the sting out of moving to Mexico. 
This is for the stuntman in you. <laughs> All right, so a very um, adventurous, curious guy here in Mexico. His name was Juan Manuel Lozano Gallegos. This guy invented the jetpack. He invented the jetpack. Any dude that's a dude that's a dude's dude already knows, like, the future holds us flying around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's either going to be by boots or by jetpacks. Uh -huh. uh, it's going to be something like that. Any sci-fi movie you watch is going to have somebody flying around. Uh -huh. Uh, and this guy made it a reality. The jetpack that you see in all the different movies looking like uh, George Jetson flying around or whatever, he invented that. But I'm telling you, it's the future. Mexican dictator turned godfather of modern day chewing gum. Take one. <laughs> this is the story of chicle, mm -hmm. which is actually a gum that comes from, it's like a gummy substance that comes from a tree it's of a sap the that same comes from name. A tree. Yep. It was actually used way back in the day by the Mayans and the Aztecs. They chewed it because they enjoyed the flavor. They used it to stick things together. They used it to clean their teeth. The former dictator of Mexico fled to Staten Island and he was trying to make money because he was flat broke. He got swindled out of his money by some guy out of Colombia and he was trying to come up with a way to make money. There was a big rubber boom going on in the States. So he tried to commission a guy to take that sap that he brought over to the United States and find some way to make it into a rubber compound. Now that guy was Thomas Adams. He failed, but what he did succeed at is making it the base of modern day tour gum. He created gum, he cut it into strips and he started selling it for a profit. And this is how modern day chewing gum was created. But we're not crediting Thomas Adams for that. No. We're crediting Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. The godfather of modern day chewing gum. Look, when Brack and Brown come together, we can solve the problems of the world. A black man, Garrett Morgan, made the stoplight. What did the brown man do? Well, there's a guy named Dr. Belisario Hernandez Roma, mm -hmm. who invented what's called the continuous flow intersection. Yeah. And with one single light and the left hand turn, he created this new way to flow in an intersection. He was a civil engineering minimalist. So look, those are just the contributions that Mexico has toward the modern world, the modern life. These inventors were dope. They gave us a lot of different things to yeah. work with, but there are many, 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 many more inventors in Mexico. Of course, and you guys might know some. If you know anything that came from Mexico or that was made by Mexican, let us, us know up, in the comments Hit us below. up. As a matter of fact, here's a few that you guys may not think came from Mexico. Okay. Uh, Kahlua. Ah, Kaloa, Veracruz, facts. Made by a couple facts. of guys, a couple of friends who wanted like alcohol and, and coffee to go together. Now we know tacos, we know yeah, tortilla, we know uh, uh, burritos and all kinds of different dishes, birria and all that kind of good mm -hmm. stuff. But the Caesar salad? Yes, that's what? another one. Okay. Tijuana? Made in Tijuana yeah. by an Italian. Right, thing, but, but it was in Mexico. Um, Another one I think is the, the Japanese peanuts. They call them kakakote mm -hmm. japones. Made in here. Mexico. Made in here by a Japanese person who, who moved and worked here and created something here and married a Mexican woman and his life is here. All good. So we hope you guys have fun hanging out with us and going through all these different mm -hmm. adventures. If you enjoyed this program, hit that thumbs up to let us know. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the Yarbro so we can keep you up to date on things all over the planet. And yep. above and beyond that, we out of here, y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye.